Hello friends. The sun moves into Libra today at 7.49 a.m. Pacific time. We've just come out of the sun in Virgo for a, about 30 days and we've all been working very hard. We've been going back to school. We've been cleaning out our basements. We've been getting ready for um, a new initiative. Now when the sun moves into Libra, we sort of look up from all of that and we start to look around and deeply invest or become curious about relationship. We want to engage. We want to do something together. We want to cooperate. We want to share. We want to strive for a kind of peace and balance in our life. Now, Libra is a sign that is always striving for balance. It's not an innately balanced sign. So in Libra, the phrase is, I choose the way which lies between the two great lines of force. So in our lives, if we're always, you know, back and forth, the seesaw, the oscillation, those with strong Libra, and when we're in a Libra time, we all want to find the middle ground, the razor-edged path, the middle path that allows us not to feel so out of balance or so on the seesaw or so black and white. Libra wants us to carve out the noble middle path. Now, what's interesting about this particular month of Libra is that as we move into Libra, the planet Uranus, which rules Libra at the esoteric level, is in Aries and it's opposite the sun. So this asks for authentic relationship. This asks for relationship that enlivens us. So I would say to you, we're entering a month where the invitation is for enlivening authentic relationships, where we bring our full selves to relationship, where we don't lose ourselves in it, where we don't pr prevent ourselves from receiving in relationship, where we actually do a dance of engagement that feels authentic, that feels enlivening, that feels real. So um, there's an opportunity for a new kind of relationship to come in and for our own relationships that we're in to have a spice or a shot of new life. Now, uh, exoterically or on the personality level, Venus rules Libra and Venus right now is in the sign of Leo. So I would also say to you that this is a month where we can give generously from the authentic heart in our relationships. We can express ourselves in relationship. We can be courageous in relationship. We can dare to bring beauty. We can dare to listen to both sides, to listen to ourselves, to bring ourselves full selves forward. So in Libra, it's often a feeling of a breath a breath where we're between Virgo, where we've worked very hard and we've gotten things in order, and we're right before Scorpio, where we're about to dive in, you know, and, and that will be occurring in one month's time, where we dive into the thick of things, where we get tenacious, where we wrestle. But this Libra time is a more mental, quiet pause, like a, a sejura in music, a breath in music, before where we get to feel into the, the nature of the relationships that are ours on our journey. So we welcome Libra today, and as we welcome Libra, we welcome beauty and grace and flow, and we welcome, with Uranus opposite the sun, authenticity in relationship and enlivening conversation and we welcome an opportunity to give generously from the heart because remember we're still in this you know for part of this uh, Libran month we're still in a very Scorpio time Mars is in Scorpio and a lot is being stirred up and a lot of our own kind of wretchedness is being stirred up and a lot of conflict so Libra ha invites a peaceful conversation. Libra invites a chance for us to see both sides. Libra invites a chance for us to invest our fullest gifts in our relationships so we bring our whole selves wholeheartedly to affect a change. 
So let's welcome Libra together. And thank you so much for listening. And I will be uh, tuning in for Scorpio next month. Have a beautiful Libran, noble middle path, choice-filled month. Take care.